Hi there. Okay, so here's the example. I promised you an example of solving a quadratic inequality. We said there's two ways we can do it, either by inspection, and uh, and let me do it briefly by inspe inspection. It can be quicker. It can take longer. Okay, so. By inspection, I'm saying that these two brackets, when I multiply them, I have to get a positive answer. It means that this one has to be negative, and this one has to be negative, or this one has to be positive, and that one has to be positive. So this one can only be negative if x is smaller than 3, and x is smaller than, sorry, not 3, negative 3 and x is smaller than negative 9. In other words, the strongest statement of the 2 is the x is smaller than 3. Why do I say it's stronger than the 2? Because if I'm negative, if I'm smaller than negative 3, I'm already... S no, I lied. <laughs> Sorry. See, that's why I don't like inspection. I get it wrong. <laughs> okay. The stronger one of the two is x is smaller than negative 9 because negative 9 is smaller than negative 3. So if I'm smaller than negative 9, I'm, I'm already smaller than negative 3. So... Um, and the two of them can exist at the same time. It's not a contradiction saying I'm smaller than negative 3 and smaller than the negative 9. The alternative would be that both of them are positive. If both of them are positive, x has to be bigger than negative 3 and x has to be bigger than negative 9. Now the stronger one of these two statements is the x is bigger than negative 3 because negative 3 is bigger than negative 9. So if I have to be bigger than negative 3, I will already be bigger than negative 9. So these are my two solutions. x is greater than negative 3 or x is smaller than negative 9. So you can see it's, it's really not difficult. It's maybe for some people it might be a, a, a simple way. I myself prefer just drawing a parabola. So if this was a parabola, I already know that these are my two roots. Negative 3 and negative 9 are my two roots. So if I were to draw a parabola, I also know that since the sign in front of this parabola is a positive, it would look like this. And then I also know that I'm using everything greater than 0, which means I'm using this portion of the graph. Okay that portion of the graph and since I'm using that portion I'm working with the outside legs because they fall in that portion and if I'm working with the outside legs it means I'm working with the outside limits I'm working with greater than sorry smaller than negative 3 and greater than negative 9 so they're not included because my original sign did not include 0 so greater than and then you can see I did all of my steps without really even doing my steps I first had to get it in the format um, ax squared plus bx plus c which uh, and then get the roots but it was already factorized so getting the roots was easy I said x plus 3 is equal to 0 x plus 9 is equal to 0 I got my two roots x is equal to negative 3 x is equal to negative 9 after that roots I plotted them after I plotted them I drew a rough parabola with the right shape and uh, then I selected is it the top part or is it the bottom part it was the top part because I was greater my parabola was greater than 0 the top part means I'm working with the top half of my or the top uh, legs of my parabola which means that the x's associated with them with these legs are the x's lower than negative th uh, than, than the first root and x wait a minute I swapped these around I'm sorry that should be a 9 that should be a 3 man why didn't you stop me okay so there we go I'm sorry about that x is greater than negative 3 x is greater than negative 3 that's right x is greater than negative 3 and x is smaller than negative 9 okay so apparently I make mistakes with both steps so um, my advice to you is don't do it the way I do it do it correctly the way you choose to do it <laughs> well I, I hope I wasn't I didn't lose too much confidence in you uh, by making that terrible mistake of 
saying the negative 9 was greater than negative 3. But anyways, my point is that um, you can use this, solve this graphically or you can do it by inspection and hopefully if you do make a mistake uh, you were able to see it like I did before you underlined your final answer. Cool. Well, I, I'll try and make it up in the next video by looking at a little bit more complicated example and maybe I won't make such a silly mistake again. See you there.